It has only been within the past century or so that we haven't had to consider preparing for winter in the way that our ancestors did. In our current culture of convenience, no longer do we need to can our own food, dry our own herbs, raise our own meat, we simply go to the store and purchase what we want in an instant. Summer being a carefree season of leisure is a fairly new concept. For most of history, summer was the season that determined whether our ancestors would survive another winter. While I do find many of our modern conveniences to be a blessing, I know a lot of us are desperate for a return to our roots, recapturing the element of honest work of our hands, a seasonal eating that nourishes not only the body, but the soul as well. Imagine, instead of eating tasteless, imported strawberries in January, wouldn't it be thrilling to pull out a jar of strawberry jam that was preserved at the peak of the season in your very own kitchen? As I've mentioned many times before, you don't have to have a huge garden or even a root cellar to incorporate seasonal eating in your life. Right now, my family and I only have a small garden space, and while we do grow as much as we can, it's certainly not enough to sustain us all year long. A great way to supplement what you need is to check out what your local farmers have to offer and preserve and store what you can from there. Self-sufficiency does not always have to be the goal. Sometimes it's enough to just slow down, enjoy, and capture the flavors of each season. Summer is the season of abundance, and while the fresh homegrown meals are certainly a joy of this time of year, there is also a lot of preserving involved. Fermenting, freezing, pickling, canning, drying. Because of this, the summer kitchen is always a little messy. A good kind of clutter fills the counters. Rising sourdough, jars that will be filled with jam later, ferments, fresh flowers and water, a full compost bucket waiting to be emptied outside, bowls of fresh fruit and tomatoes. Spending summer days in the garden, in the kitchen, working with your hands, preparing for seasons ahead, and cooking nourishing meals, it's a work that leaves you tired, but your heart full. In this video, I'm going to share with you just a small peek at some of the recipes I've been enjoying this summer and how we've been preserving our surplus for the winter months. And it is my hope that you feel inspired to get creative with homegrown and local foods in your own summer kitchen this year.